Celtic are fucking shit. Three away games, three away defeats to start the season. They find themselves sitting in sixth place. Sixth fucking place behind the likes of Mullerwell and Dundee United. Where did it all go wrong? And what is next for Big Ange in charge? Who knows, guys? Because Livingston absolutely outplayed Shellick. Celtic were going to win the league, but here with Foot Kyogo, it's shown that they are just nothing more than a shower of shite. Yeah, definitely lacking going forward. I mean, you cannot compare a jetty to Kyogo. I mean, Kyogo offers you movement. <laughs> he offers you everything. He offers you an attack and threat that a jetty just simply does not possess. Battery on the computer's running low. This is going to be a quick one, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah so... Get the um, lead. Celtic then, they did, really didn't offer much in this game at all. This wasn't the case that, you know, Celtic pummeled Livingston and they just couldn't score. If we're being honest, the, the Livingston goalkeeper, the Polish guy, Strzyk, whatever the fuck he's called, didn't have a lot to do here. He honestly didn't have a lot to do. Uh, I'm struggling to think he won clear-cut chance Celtic had. And that's, that's because I don't think they had any, to be fair. Um, the goal came from, obviously, Livingston. Uh, it was, uh, what's his name? Jamie Shinney, or Andrew Shinney. Fuck it, that's, that's his name. Andy, Andrew Shinney. Uh, g gave Joe Hart no chance, to be fair. Smashed it into the top bins. Nice goal. Nothing silly could do about that. Uh, Joe Hart forced another save uh, off his arm just before half time. 1 0 at the break. I'm expecting some sort of, you know, Celtic comeback in the second half, but I'm looking at the bench and the only real attacking, you know, threat they have on the bench is Mikey Johnson. So, you know, I mean, most of the, you look at the bench and the players that are on it, you've got like Ralston, Montgomery, just, it was all defenders, you know, it was defenders or defensive minded midfielders. I mean, there was no attacking threats on the bench whatsoever, apart. There was that fucking um, Soros on the bench. Uh, that Irish guy Scales is on the bench. I think they signed from Shamrock Rovers or wherever he came from. And it's like, these guys ain't going to get you goals. And these are guys that you bring on if you're winning. You want to make sure you don't concede or whatever. You want to just try and freshen up the back. But I mean, Mikey Johnson's the only player that I thought was on the bench that could perhaps come on and give Celtic a boost. He came on and he didn't really do much, if we're being honest. But... That's not criticism of Mikey Johnson. Nobody in this <coughs> team really did much. David Turnbull wasn't good today. Uh, I mean, they, they, no, nobody was good. A jetty, you know, scored a couple of goals. He scored a goal there against um, Real Betis, but and fuck, nah, he could have played for two hundred minutes a day. I don't think he'd have scored. Uh, and that's it, really. I mean, I just a uh, embarrassing performance for Celtic. Uh, seven away defeats this season. They haven't won away in the league since what February, which is just shocking. And it doesn't get any easier up next. Or go well, I say it doesn't get any easier. I've got a game at Petardry next. That's three points. Yep. That's a banker. If you can't beat Petard if you can't beat Aberdeen, then you're you're doing something wrong. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's been a it's been a roller coaster of a ride so far for Ange Post and Oglu. Um, obviously didn't start the pre-season very well, knocked out the Champions League. And then started the season really good, apart from the defeat to Hearts. I mean, they were smashing teams. You know, they, they made their way into Europa League group stages. It looked like he'd turned things around, but uh, a couple of injuries to key players now all of a sudden. You know, they lost in Europe there. They've lost at home to Livingston. The only consolation is Rangers only picked up a point. So Rangers then just take a point out of Celtic rather than three. But still... Sick from the table, it's not exactly what they want to be. Um, I don't see them getting to the top of the table anytime soon. Nope. And uh, I think, uh, could Ange be gone soon? I don't think it'll be soon, but they need to sort out the away form. Because, I mean, seven losses already, and we're, what, midway through September? That's fucking shocking. And that note, guys... Concerned about this team here, I mean, without Kyogo, no Cal McGregor, James Forrest out. I mean, could they not have got Allen in and just pretend it? Fucking swap his first names and share the same DNA, I don't know. Play, play Allen Forrest for Celtic, I don't know, guys, I don't know. Took some night nurse last night. Still feeling the effects of it. Can he still wait? next time. Aye, so, I mean, next review, will Ange still be the manager? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Can they fucking tell you? 
Slavings and one, Celtic now. And that is it, guys. What a week of Scottish football. Top five teams in the country all got beat. Or none of them won. Yay. Bottle jobs. Till next time. Peace.